four to three beers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, three faggots for a dollar. Three faggots for a dollar. Three faggots for a dollar. Don't, don't get, get all worked up. Don't get up to just cigarettes. Wow. Oh, right. Fine. 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 All right. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Here with massive beer reviews. Matt, we got a beer that I can't take home somebody? with me. So we're going to take a look Very at a beer okay. actually I picked up at the Cameron's Brewery. I even wearing their t-shirt. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever have this before? Uh, no, I haven't had this one. So there's a couple of different beers from Cameron's that I didn't have. So I picked them up while I was there visiting the brewery. This one here is Cameron's Auburn Ale, 5% ABV. It is a uh, gold medalist at the Canadian Brewing Awards, apparently. A complex West Coast style ale brewed with citrusy out of the aromatic American hops. So that should be right up your alley. I love that fucking beer. Yeah, yeah classic English style. Like yeah, it's just goodness. That's what all, pretty much all of Cameron's labels. They all have that yeah. kind of theme, the diamonds, right? Yeah, nice. Let's give her a nice little pour here. See, I'm excited because this came right from the brewery and I only bought it Thursday. Ooh, is there any dating on it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like magical beer. <laughs> That's quite pretty. Yeah. Well, they're not lying. It looks auburn. Yeah. It's kind of got that. Orange amber, maybe a, a little bit brighter than the West Coast Ale. So, well, gold medalist. So they, like, they refuse to call it a red ale, so they call it an orange. Again, I'm not getting much head, but everybody's yeah, getting more head bit. than I am. Yeah, well, That's I think not, it's, a, it's smaller glasses. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a nice fruity Is that caramel the smell. I'm gonna say fuggles on that one. Pretty sure I get the least amount of head everywhere. Yeah, there's a nice oh, hop it. to it. I, even yeah, though it's, it's West Coast, there's a piney hop, but it's very subdued. It's not in your face. It's like subtle. It's it probably, almost smells English at the same time. Maybe like Amarillo or something. It's it's. But you're right. It does have that kind of like that that Fuggles kind of aroma. Yeah. Especially if they're English style beers, they it does. I don't know if it's a blend. It's an homage to West Coast, so there's probably a mixture. Yeah. So it's it's like on top of like straw. It's almost like like strawberry. Uh, oh shoot, with strawberry. Fuck. Caramel. Yeah. Yeah, like fruity it strawberry. It smells yeah, nice, but it smells. There's a little peppery earthiness to it too. Yeah, I can see that. It smells thin, Paul. It's it a does thin. smell. Thin. It's <laughs> supposed to be thin. It's an. Awesome, this is one of their more sessional. Yeah, beers, five percent. Right? So, yeah. Five percent, right? Cheers. Cheers. Down the hatch. It is thin. I'm almost saying Cascade, maybe, because it's got that earthiness to it. Yeah, yeah. fruity earth, the uh, grapefruit yeah. earthiness. But it's like a no, uh, yeah, yeah, caramel yeah. malt. Definitely, it looks like a nutty, like a nutty caramel caramel like a brown nut, nut ale. ale. Yeah, a little brown nut ale. That's probably what hey, it sure. is, really. <laughs> and then it's nut ale with a little bit of West Coast hop <laughs> thrown in it for a good measure. But it's actually something I could crush. Like it's almost like it's supposed to be. A, it is a light, lighter body kind of thing, mm -hmm. but it almost kind of explodes into the more like a soda water aftertaste, <laughs> and which. I can't say I'm super fan of, but you know it's definitely a drinkable beer. You walk into a bar somewhere, you say, "Give me a beer." They give you this. You know, yeah. super chuggable. Kind of like yeah, like this is one you could down the hatch, right? Yeah, you can chug it. A little bit more. Yeah, chug that. Give, me, give me some more. Well, it's a and twist off, it. and then the number one rule is if it's a twist off, it's bad. Except if it's <laughs> do the CL. Do the CL. Yeah, do the CL. Those twist off, and they do it awesome. Um, and, uh, you are I wouldn't normally say Unibrew, but Unibrew is going downhill. So they don't do twisties. Yeah, they do. Some of their cheaper baby, ones. Baby, Unibrew in twist off. Baby. They, they, they're foil wrapped twist off. Right? Are you so, arguing with the Canadians? Do not exactly. argue with the Canadians. I'm arguing with that guy. I'm I'm arguing with the Canadians. He's arguing with another American, and hey, I'm, I'm siding with one of the Americans. Okay, okay, there you go. I'm, I'm side siding with the backwoods bastard over here. Thank okay, you. Okay, there you go. All right. I acquiesce. 3.5, 3.5 Yeah, I'd give it like a 7.5. I would 7, give it a 9. 10? Yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, you give everything a fucking 9. 9.8? 9.8? Yeah. Are you seriously like that better? No, I like it. I give it a 3.2. 3.2? Well, I'll give it a, a thick. Sit. Right. He's yeah, going there himself. you go. Yeah. Um, it, it, yeah, it's serviceable. Did you, um, you yeah, went to the What is the best thing you had from them? <laughs> best thing I've had, my you, favorite from them is their YPA. Yeah. yeah, but um, there's a couple of others that they're really great that I well that I've heard are really great that I haven't had like uh, Obsidian Imperial Port Rum Barrel Porter, which Chad actually has a bottle here of, and uh, I got a couple of others like the Rybok and anyway I haven't had them yet. RPA. But I really liked um, I really like their uh, the Rye PA the best so far. Nice. The RPA, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Not a bad beer, not a great beer, somewhere in between. Not bad. 
Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.